today again I say thank you very much. The podium will be sent a mass. Yes, where the family? Uh, they're on the first landing at, at the bottom of the brown stuff. And also wear your mask. It is important. It will save lives. My dream is that you will have the families of the abused standing in the shadow of Abe Lincoln. In 1963, Martin Luther King said, Mr. Lincoln, 100 years ago, you signed the Emancipation Proclamation and you promised the Negro full citizenship and they've not fulfilled the promise. I want in the shadows of Abe Lincoln to be able to say, we have here the family of people who had their son, brother, choked to death with a knee of a cop for eight minutes. We have Blake's family shot in the back seven, eight times. The, I'm bringing the broken promises to you who promised this 157 years ago. We saw, now there's two dead people in Kenosha. Yesterday the report is that the, the suspect who's been held is a young man, 17 years old, who attended Trump rallies, put in his social media that he's a big Trump fan, Blue Lives Matter, came with a long gun to try to protect businesses in Kenosha. How does that change the way we think about this? I think that it is extremely exemplary of the contradiction of the right wing. If that had been a African-American of any stripes, if that had been Antifa, they would have hung that on every doorstep in America, front page, every paper, all over social media. They've had crickets, silence, have not said anything about it. And yet they want to say, we are the ones that will destroy your suburbs. We're not the ones that walk down the street uh, with a rifle. After the curfew, when everybody in the black side of town had to get inside by 7 p.m., the fact that the police were enforcing it unequal gives you the reason why we're marching. Yesterday, you know, the NBA, starting with the Milwaukee Bucks, they decided to walk out of a playoff game. The other team also walks out of the playoff game. Well, this is a kind of a big moment, feels like to me. I think it's a huge moment. I remember when I was a kid, Dr. King came out against the war in Vietnam. Muhammad Ali refused to go to the war. Tommy and them put up their fists at the 68 Olympics. Yep. All the way to Kaepernick. Kaepernick took a knee. It was just one, but then it grew. This has never happened. We've had statements that were monumental. Right. This time it's the whole league. I think it is a huge moment and it is going to drive a lot of people in the middle to saying, wait a minute, we have to do something about it. You and I both know, we're old enough to remember when the politics favored Republicans who played the Blue Lives Matter card. It worked for George Wallace and Richard Nixon as a combined force in 1968. It worked for George Herbert Walker Bush in 1988. That worked for Donald Trump in 2016. Are you sitting here thinking that America has changed enough and these circumstances have been dramatic enough that it's now, it's time's up for that playbook? I do not believe those plays any longer work. I think that you have new generations of Americans that were kids in the 60s like me and those that are kids now that are much younger than me that grew up in a different concept of what they want America to be. And I think it will be defeated.